Do you remember China's one-child policy? It was absurd, right? Well, if you found that weird, you're not gonna believe just how crazy laws can get all over the world. Some of these make absolutely no sense, while others are completely unnecessary. Wondering how bad it can be? Well, here are 10 minutes of the weirdest laws from all around the world. One, in Singapore, chewing gum is completely banned. This rule dates back to 1992, when Prime Minister Go Chok Tong decided enough was enough with all the gum littering the streets, and especially the new MRT system. Before the ban, people would stick gum on MRT doors causing significant maintenance problems. Now, if you're caught importing gum, you could face a massive fine of up to 100,000 SGD, which is about 75,000 USD, or even spend up to two years in jail. It's hard to imagine that chewing gum could land you in such big trouble. Two, forgetting your wife's birthday in Samoa is more than just a bad idea. It's illegal. The specifics of the punishment aren't clear, but you might get a warning the first time it happens. This law seems to be a way to ensure that husbands stay on their toes and remember those important dates. It's pretty wild to think that even romance and personal personal relationships are regulated by the government there. Three, in Illinois, culinary students under 21 can taste wine as long as they spit it out. This quirky loophole helps them learn about wine without breaking the drinking age laws. It's all part of their education, ensuring they get the full experience of wine tasting necessary for their future careers. So they can sip, savor the flavors, and then spit, staying within the legal boundaries. This unique approach to learning about wine is quite an interesting twist on the usual drinking laws. Four, you can't wake a sleeping bear to take a photo in Alaska. This unusual the usual law is all about keeping both people and bears safe. Waking a bear can be incredibly dangerous and is considered disturbing wildlife, which is why it's prohibited. If you're caught doing this, you might get fined anywhere between $100 and $1,000 under Alaska's wildlife protection laws. So next time you see a snoozing bear, just let it be and enjoy the view from a safe distance. Five, in South Carolina, minors under 18 aren't allowed to play pinball. This rule dates back to a time when pinball was seen as a form of gambling and the law was aimed at protecting young people from gambling activities. Places that allow minors to play pinball can face fines and penalties. While the law is mostly symbolic nowadays, it's still enforced in some areas. Who would have thought that a simple game of pinball could be off limits for kids? Six, sending a surprise pizza in Louisiana could cost you $500. It's considered a serious offense, so think twice before you send that cheesy gift to someone unexpectedly. This law probably exists to prevent prank orders, but it's quite shocking that something as seemingly harmless as sending a pizza could land you in financial trouble. Generosity definitely has its limits in Louisiana. Seven, if you love playing bingo, North Carolina has some strict rules for you. Your game can't last more than five hours and you're not allowed to play while intoxicated. They take their bingo very seriously with laws in place to ensure the game is played with decorum. It's quite funny to think that such a relaxed and leisurely game could come with so many regulations. Bingo night just got a lot more complicated. Eight, in Poland, Winnie the Pooh is banned from playgrounds and schools. This rule is because Winnie the Pooh isn't fully clothed and some authorities believe it sets a bad example for kids. Schools and playgrounds have to remove any Winnie the Pooh items and can't show the character. It's hard to believe that such a beloved and innocent character could be seen as inappropriate, but there you have it. Poor Pooh Bear is not welcome in Polish playgrounds. Nine, in Cambodia, water guns are a big no-no during the Khmer New Year. This ban was introduced to keep things safe and orderly during the festivities in April. Apparently, water guns were causing a bit too much chaos. If you're caught with one, it might get confiscated and you could be fined up to 200,000 KHR which is about 50 bucks. No water fights here. 10. In Samoa, you can't sing in public on New Year's Eve. They want to ensure the transition into the new year is peaceful and quiet, in line with local traditions. Celebrations need to be calm, and if you break this rule, you could end up fined or even arrested. Singing your heart out could land you in serious trouble. 11. In Carmel, California, if you love your high heels, you need a permit for anything over two inches or with a base less than one square inch. This quirky rule helps prevent falls on the town's uneven sidewalks and avoids lawsuits. Getting the permit is easy, and the law isn't strictly enforced, but if you don't have it, you might get fined. It's more about keeping people aware of their steps. 12. In Denmark, parents have to pick baby names from an approved list. This law is to make sure names are socially acceptable and won't cause ridicule. The list has over 7,000 names, but if you want something unique, you can appeal for special permission. Choosing a non-approved name can lead to rejection or a fine. Imagine naming your kid something wild and then having to change it. 13. In North Korea, blue jeans are banned. This is part of the country's stance against Western symbols, especially those linked to American capitalism. The ban includes other Western fashion items too. If you're caught in blue jeans, they can be confiscated and you might face punishment, including re-education or imprisonment. Who knew jeans could be so rebellious? 14. In Nevada, you can't ride a camel on public highways. This quirky rule dates back to the 19th century when camels were used in the Camel Corps experiment. They were brought in for their endurance but turned out to be a traffic nuisance. Riding them on highways was banned to keep things safe. Breaking this rule might 
might get you fined, though it's rarely enforced today. Camel rides on highways? Not happening. 15. In Chesapeake City, Virginia, if you're over 14, trick-or-treating is off limits. Adults can only accompany kids, and even the kids have an 8 p.m. curfew. Halloween with all these restrictions is a bit of a bummer. They must have their reasons, but it sounds like they're taking the spooky fun a bit too seriously. 16. In Vermont, women needed written permission from their husbands to get false teeth. This outdated law isn't enforced anymore, but it's still technically on the books. Who knew dental work once needed spousal approval? Thankfully, this old rule is just a relic of the past. 17. In Alabama, USA, you can't wear a fake mustache in church if it makes people laugh. This quirky law is meant to keep things serious during services and avoid distractions. If you get caught breaking this rule, you might end up with a fine. Can you imagine getting in trouble for a silly mustache? 18. In Quitman, Georgia, USA, it's illegal for chickens to cross the road. It's true. This funny-sounding law is actually about keeping chickens contained and preventing traffic issues. If your chickens decide to make a run for it, you could get fined. Why did the chicken cross the road? To avoid a ticket. 19. Back in the 1920s, a flood in Arizona swept a donkey away in a bathtub. Now, it's illegal to let a donkey sleep in a bathtub. They're serious about preventing such bizarre accidents from happening again. Poor donkey probably didn't expect to make history this way. 20. In Turkmenistan, you can't lip sync at public concerts. This ban was introduced by former President Sapar Murat Niazov in 2005 to promote true culture and talent by ensuring all performances are live. If you break this rule, you could face fines or even a ban. Imagine getting in trouble for pretending to sing. 21. In Dubai, UAE, having a dirty car is a big no-no. This law is all about keeping the city looking spotless. If your car is too dirty, you might get fined up to 3,000 AED, which is around $820. Better keep those wheels shiny. 22. In Georgia, USA, you can't live on a boat for more than 30 days. This 1992 law is aimed at preventing rundown houseboats on the Altamaha River. Looks like you'll need a land home if you're planning to stay in Georgia. Imagine getting kicked off your own boat. 23. In Indiana, horse travel across state lines is limited to 10 mil pH. This 1975 law treats horses like motor vehicles. Who knew horses could be such a problem? If you want to go faster than 10 mil pH, you'll have to leave your trusty steed behind. 24. In South Africa, wrestling bears is illegal. This law is part of efforts to prevent animal cruelty, even though bear wrestling isn't common there. If you break this rule, you could face severe fines or even jail time. Who would have thought wrestling bears needed to be outlawed? 25. In Borneo, Malaysia, feeding stray cats is strictly prohibited. This law is in place to help control the stray cat population and prevent the spread of diseases, encouraging people to practice responsible pet ownership. If you're caught feeding these stray felines, you could face a fine. It's pretty crazy to think that trying to help a hungry cat could land you in hot water, but it's all about maintaining public health and safety. 26. In Thailand, wearing t-shirts with offensive or inappropriate images or text is a big no-no. This rule is all about maintaining public decency and respecting cultural norms. If your clothing is considered disrespectful or obscene, you could face fines and have your t-shirt confiscated. So, leave those edgy or provocative tees at home if you don't want to get into trouble. It's wild to think that your wardrobe could get you fined. 27. Building sandcastles on certain beaches in Spain is prohibited. This law is designed to protect the natural environment and ensure safety on crowded beaches, especially during the busy tourist seasons. If you're caught breaking this rule, you could be fined up to 1,500 euros. Who would have thought that creating a beach masterpiece could end up costing you so much? It's all about keeping the beaches safe and beautiful for everyone. 28. In Kentucky, a woman can't marry the same man more than three times. This rule puts a limit on repeated love stories and ensures that love isn't that complicated. It's kind of funny to think that the law is stepping in to say, enough is enough when it comes to marital do-overs. Three strikes and you're out in the marriage game in Kentucky. 29. In New Hampshire, it's illegal to collect seaweed from public beaches at night. During the day, it's totally fine to get gather as much seaweed as you want. This law is in place because seaweed can be quite valuable and they want to regulate its collection. So, if you're planning a seaweed gathering adventure, make sure it's during daylight hours to avoid any trouble. It's fascinating to see how even nature's simple treasures are protected by law. 30. In Victoria, Australia, flying a kite in a public place is illegal if it bothers other people. This law is meant to ensure that kite flying doesn't cause any safety issues or disturbances. If you break this rule, you might get fined up to 500 Australian dollars. It's funny to think that something as innocent as flying a kite could lead to a fine, but it's all about keeping public spaces enjoyable for everyone. 31. China's one-child policy, which used to limit families to just one child, was all about controlling the population. Since 2016, families have been allowed to have two children, and in 2021, the limit was increased to three to address demographic changes. Back when the one-child policy was strictly enforced, breaking it could lead to fines, forced abortions, and sterilizations. It's mind-blowing to think about how strict these regulations were, and how much 
much they've changed over time. 32. In Florida, USA, there used to be a law from the 1800s that made it illegal to pass wind in public after 6 p.m. on Thursdays. While this law isn't enforced anymore, it probably aimed to keep public decency during social and religious gatherings. 33. In Canada, there's a rule that Canadian radio stations must play at least 35% Canadian music, especially on weekdays during working hours. This Canadian content regulation helps support local artists and promotes national culture. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation even exceeds this requirement, playing over 50% of Canadian content. 34. New Mexico bans idiots from voting. Yep, that's actually in their legislation. It's totally unenforceable and super problematic. Imagine trying to implement that today. How do you even decide who's an idiot and who isn't? This brings us to the end of this video. Which of these laws did you find the strangest out of all? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed what you saw, here's another video you'd love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.